Believe it or not, there is this thread on TikTok about the traditional waifu, and there's a lot of women that are LARPing as trad cons, much to the dismay and horror of the journalists, because it's now being considered edgy to behave yourself in a liberal space like TikTok as being traditional. I guess it makes sense, but the reason the journalists are shocked is because what's edgy is what's popular with the kids. Yeah, like kids really want to break rules. They, they want to do something that shocks people. And apparently being a traditional waifu is one of them. However, you do have a couple of women uh, that are making interesting videos that I want to present to you guys. And this one was quite fascinating to behold. So let's listen to it a little bit and make some commentary. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had? was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And obviously as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conform to the traditional female homemaker childbearing role. And most of the men that I've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. I love the way that she points out that it's natural. And I like, like she inherently knows this, uh, but I guess... You have to force behaviors on people if you're more of a liberal-oriented person. Uh, but she is definitely a, a having, a, I wouldn't say an identity crisis, uh, but she is realizing the problem with the ideology in itself because it changes men into something that's not desirable. It, it changes men into something that she doesn't want to date. And what I mean by this is that there are two ways of viewing the world. The traditional way is that of gender roles, where the man has a role and the woman has a role. And if the man doesn't respect his own role, um, then the woman is in the right to be angry and upset with him. So that is the traditional way, the way that our parents behaved, the way that my grandparents behaved and so forth. But the new modern way of thinking, the, the enlightened one, is that uh, we need to abolish gender role together. There should be no roles. And as such... Uh, men and women are just like two equal people with the exact same rights and obligations within a relationship, which means that the man is not obligated to pay for her dinner. The man is not obligated to hold her door open. In fact, sometimes she should pay for the dinner and sometimes she should hold the door open. But, of course, this causes a little bit of distress in this young lady, which, you know, probably looks around at other women and, and how their boyfriends treat them. And she wants some of that, but unfortunately, because she's a liberal, she's dating men with the same mindset as her, um, and she's experiencing this difficulty. Now, uh, the, the way that she is trying to have her cake and eat it too, it's pretty much like saying that I like making big bucks, I like earning a lot of money, but I don't like to work. Well, you, you can see the predicament that she is in. Uh, so it just doesn't work that way. You, you cannot want uh, both of the two things. Like, sometimes in life, you must make a choice. And it's very interesting how she will choose. Now, a lot of people in the comment section, uh, especially conservative women, uh, they are saying that if she would actually choose a conservative man, eventually, um, she would actually enjoy her traditional role, especially if she ends up having children. Because uh, the women in the comment section are pointing out that this is an event which changes you. Like, like you automatically start loving and caring for your children and you enjoy doing what you're doing. I guess it's kind of like being reluctant to join a job, uh, but once you join it, you realize that is the job for you and you become more passionate in doing it. Now, I do want to point out that the idea of traditional gender roles is very romanticized on the internet. The idea that women didn't used to work is something that exists on the internet, but in reality... Uh, women couldn't afford not to work. Uh, even the house chores were usually done by the children that were the the oldest. Uh, no, women also went out in the field and practiced various agricultural activities. Uh, they would also uh, feed the animals and uh, do, do stuff around the housework while the husbands did more of the manual labor, like plowing and stuff. Um, 
even in the cities, women also worked. So, so the idea of like the the woman staying at home and doing nothing while the man is the provider can only happen in an extremely wealthy country to an extremely wealthy family. Um, normally, even by our standards, when you have like a more traditional gender-oriented family, the woman also has a job and also goes to work, uh, and she has her independence because most people just can't afford to live with one wage. Not to mention, back in the old day, it made sense because you washed clothes by the river by hand. Very difficult. You had to uh, carry the water from the well, which could have been like five kilometers away from your house. Um, you, you had to do all these house chairs, like mopping the floors with a broom. Now you got a vacuum cleaner, you got a Roomba, you got the opportunity to order food. Um, you're having this washing machine that also dries your clothes. You do most of the house chores. Um, in less than one day per week, there's no justification why a person should stay home. I mean, when they have children, maybe one or two years, but after that, unless you're planning to make more, like there, there's literally no justification for a person not to have a job. So when you talk about gender roles, you have to apply them to the modern time. You, you kind of like think about how things were during the medieval society. Uh, but what's more importantly, and, and this is what I definitely believe, is that if she ever found the man that she likes, with the exact specifications that she requires, she's going to end up breaking up with him because she's not going to love him. And this is due to the fact that the particular individual is not going to respect himself, right? Because you want a man that's willing to demean himself and no woman respects a man that demeans himself. Like women do not respect a man who don't respect themselves. Actually, no one respects a person that doesn't respect themselves. Even at the workplace, if you don't respect yourself, your boss and your coworkers won't respect you. And what I mean by this is that if you have the mindset of equality and like abolishing gender roles, like that's fine, right? Like that, that is just your worldview that that is how you want your partner to be. Okay. If you have like the gender roles in your mind, that's also fine because you believe like, okay, I have my responsibility. She has hers. But if you have a mindset that is like a mixture of both, then you clearly do not respect yourself because you want to treat her like a princess, but she's not going to treat you like a king. Right. So so you're just becoming a pseudo slave, basically. I mean, if you go to a restaurant, she expects that you pay her dinner, but she's not going to pay for yours. So it's not equality. But at the same time, like she doesn't have responsibilities towards you. And the only people that are willing to go through with this is people who do not respect themselves. I well, like respect is a, a two way street. Like, how, how can you be in, in any type of relationship with another person, uh, let alone a romantic one? where you are the one that keeps doing more and, and you're putting more effort and more sacrifices into it while the other person isn't, right? Like the other person is the queen. It's like, it's okay, like she can be the queen, but only if you can be the king. In this case, like she can be the queen and you gotta be the subject. So if you do that, then you do not respect yourself. And um, um, I, I will guarantee that if she finds such a man within a couple of months, she's going to get bored of the relationship. Um, I don't think that she wants a puppy. I think that she wants another human being as a companion. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.